Welcome and here we go again. Now today I have a few things to discuss uh, with you. Um, so, um, you know, um, the main topic of the video today um, is going to be about uh, Chris Chibnall and his episodes of Doctor Who uh, ranked from worst to best. But also in the video, I'm going to be discussing um, some news we've got about Series 11. It was the BBC Showcase event, and I'm going to be doing that first. The BBC Showcase event happened today in Liverpool, and Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall attended. Um, there was a, a special panel. And a few little nuggets of news came out uh, around uh, that place. Take a look um, at the picture that should hopefully flash up on your screen. As you can see, um, there may be some small bits of writing there, but that's Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall uh, at the panel. Um, so, um, obviously, um, things were hushed up by the BBC. As you can see, hopefully, um, there was... Um, it says, do, um, do not share uh, any of the information from the panel. Although from the picture, we do get a little bit uh, of a nugget of information. So, um, we had the news last week from the BBC Showcase event that there would be um, 10 uh, episodes of the series and 9 would be 50 minutes and uh, eight, uh, 1 would be uh, 65 um, also, we see that circled in red there is the uh, fact that October 2018 is going to be when Series um, 11 airs. So, um, it is confirmed now that October 2018 will be the date, uh, where the month when Series 11 drops on our screens. Um, so, uh, you know, that's a shame. But, you know, we've got a little while to wait. I don't know how I'm going to keep up videos, but YouTubers, Doctor Who YouTubers in particular, are very creative. And even when we had that whole year, I wasn't a, like, I wasn't a regular YouTuber back then. Uh, even when I had the whole year, um, I, uh, people, you know, generated videos for the whole year. So um, it shouldn't be too hard a job. And there'll be loads of news and trailers and stuff, little nuggets of news. That New Dawn thing that says Doctor and New Dawn, could that be the title of the series uh, arc? Um, there were rumours that that we would get a serialised um, approach for the new series. I don't know. Um, Chris Chibnall's got a five-year plan for the show, and I'm pretty excited for it. But first, I want to be here to discuss uh, the episodes. Now, I thought I'd do both of this because it sort of leaped on me uh, immediately just before I came onto the video, this BBC Showcase thing. This should hopefully be more news. We're expecting a new logo to be ha to be perhaps revealed over the next few days. But, you know, I'll get a new video out on that uh, if, if, if I do that. Um, and also, uh, coming soon, there'll be some nifty little changes. I'll do a channel. Uh, it, I'll do a special intro video as well. Uh, obviously, every Sunday and Wednesday there are videos. So, um, we've got, um, Chris Chibnall's episodes of Doctor Who. Chris Chibnall's episodes of Doctor Who worry me, because although his series of the show looks innovative and bright and bold and fresh and different from anything we've seen before, his episodes, his track record on Doctor Who is not good at all. You've got episodes like Dinosaurs on the Spaceship, Power of Three, 42, and uh, Hungry Earth Cold Blood. Now, if you think that's not those, none of those episodes are extremely bad, like awful episodes, can you think of an episode that's a classic or really good? Now, Stephen Moffat, before he came into Showrunner, uh, he'd already had such classics as The Empty Child, Girl in the Fireplace, Blink, Silence in the Library and Forest of the Dead. That's a brilliant track record of episodes. Chris Chibnall, in comparison, has a bunch of meh a.k.a. mediocre uh, episodes of Doctor Who, which is such a shame because, you know, um, his, his era looks so good and Jodie looks so good um, and hopefully his episodes should improve. 
How do I rank them then? So I'm going to rank them from worst to best. And number four, yes, he's only done four stories, but so did Stephen Moffat. It is uh, the episode which is titled... Um, for, uh, what, what am I talking about? Which is titled Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. Dinosaurs on a Spaceship is a weak episode of Doctor Who. It doesn't really bring anything to the mythology of the show. And it's pretty substandard meh. The most meh thing you can get. Uh, it's okay, but it's not very good. If that makes sense. And number three, it's Power of Three. A funny episode of Doctor Who, but still meh. It, it's, it's funny and a nice little episode of Doctor Who, which is a final laugh before the Pond's farewell, but it doesn't really add anything and it doesn't really show that Chris Chibnall's a wonderful Doctor Who writer. Two, Hungry Earth Cold Blood. This is a funny one because first few times I watched it I liked it but then once I'd watched uh, I mean first time or second time once I'd watched the Silurians I realised that Hungry Earth Cold Blood was exactly the same a direct copy with a few things added to make it seem like the modern age and set in different places with a different doctor and companion it just is exactly the same in plot wise than uh, the Silurians and even a tiny bit sea devils um, but mainly the Silurians it's just a direct rip off of the original and nowhere near as good. His best story is 42, uh, which I quite like as a story. Uh, it's quite a solid one and it was better than I remembered it when I watched it recently. However, it's not a classic. It's a good one, but the typical story in the series which you're likely to forget everything about a couple of years after it's released. Like some of the stories in series 10. That's my order of the Chris Chibnall episodes. I do get a bit worried because his track record isn't good, definitely compared to Stephen Moffat's before uh, he came into the show. Uh, what do you think um, of uh, Chris Chibnall's uh, Doctor Who episodes? And what's your favourite and least favourite? Please uh, rank them in the comments below if you possibly can. That would be very nice of you. Um, thank you uh, for watching today. Please give us a like and subscribe. And uh, I will be back once again on Sunday for another video, perhaps about some news you get at the showcase event. Fingers crossed. Uh, but I'll let you know um, about what my video is, well, when it comes out. I'll see you on Sunday, folks. Same time, same space. Goodbye. Summary of today's video, can I wait until October for series 11? No, but I'm going to have to. And will I be able to come up with enough videos to last that long? Yes, I think so, because I'm great. Only joking, you're great. Thank you for watching.